Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video, very simple, very straight to the point on how to figure out the ideal length of your central, lateral and canine teeth based on the amount of space that you have. From this diagram here you can see that S is the length from the distal of let's say number 6 to the distal of number 11 and to measure that you can take a piece of string and uh, all right, so to get the length from uh, distals of canines, you take a piece of string and um, measure it, preferably on the model, a stone model, and um, once you get that length, based on that length, you can figure out what your ideal width of central, lateral, and canine teeth should be, based on the fact that your lateral incisor is ideally should be 79% of the w width of the central and your canine should be 89% of the width of the central. So here we go. Okay, so based on what I just told you, you can see that this is one of the formulas that I came up with to figure out what would be the appropriate length of, for X, which is, which is the width of the central. So from this you can see, this is just my little calculations, and you arrive at this value, where x is your width of the central incisor, s is the length of your arch from distals of canines, and this divided by this value, this is going to give you the ideal width of x. Now from this, we can go over here and see that the ideal width of lateral is going to be x times 79%. So 0 0.079. And same thing for canine. Uh, well, actually, this should be 0 0.89. This is a little mistake. Okay. Okay, guys. So once you know your length s, which is from the distal of number 6 to the distal of number 11, you can figure out what your ideal width of the central can be, width of the lateral and canine based on these formulas. You take your length, S, and divide by 5.36, and that's going to give you your ideal width of your central. Then, if you want to figure out the lateral, you do the same thing, S divided by 5.36 times 0.79. And that's going to give you ideal width of the lateral. And same thing for the canine. You take your S divided by 5.36 times 0 0.89. And that's going to give you ideal width of the canine. And if you are interested in figuring out what the ideal length should be of that tooth, you take that number, whatever number you get here, and you divide it by 0.8. That's the golden proportion uh, uh, ratio. So, and you're gonna get your length that way. Okay. Hopefully, this was informative. And as you can see, once again, recap. This is the little math that I did based on some information and some assumptions. And um, and this is how you arrive at your numbers very easy so just to recap here we go you take a piece of string and measure from distals of canines from let's say number six to number eleven then you take that piece of string and you measure it and that's your length s so now for you to find out the ideal width of the central you take that length s and you divide it by 5.36. Then, if you want to find out the width of the lateral, you take that S divided by 5.36 and multiply by 0 0.79. And for the canine, you take that length S and you divide it by 5.36 and multiply by 0 0.89. And that's going to give you ideal width of central, lateral, or canine based on your measurement of, of the arch. 
and if you want to find out what the ideal length should be whatever number you get here let's say for central you take that number and you divide by 0.8 and that's gonna give you the ideal length so this is very easy very easy stuff okay thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it